my pleasure to introduce Ron Mazurki, our board of director member and a great collaborator for IMTC and the Platinum Network. Ron, tell us a little bit about your experience and about yourself. Hi, Priscilla. Um, a pleasure to be here. Thank you for, uh, for this time together. Uh, I'm very excited, of course, uh, being on the board of directors and, uh, and I think uh, we've got a lot of exciting things uh, coming up. Uh, I like to tell you a little bit about my background. I've been engaged in banking and payments, uh, basically worldwide over the last 30 years. Uh, I spent my early part of my career with uh, Chase uh, and with MasterCard, Chase Manhattan Bank and MasterCard Worldwide, uh, both in product management innovation. Uh, I also ran uh, global services uh, over at MasterCard. I worked for consulting firms and research uh, analyst firms in the interim, uh, probably over a 15, 20 year period. And then uh, recently I was uh, uh, over at a core solution financial technology firm called uh, Jack Henry. And with that, I've gotten to see uh, tens of thousands, uh, 10,000 uh, US banks and credit unions and their interest and need, uh, needs in the marketplace. Uh, and besides that, I founded and I'm a board member of an organization called NIPAY, which is uh, the premier payments banking and fin FinTech Association for senior executives and for innovators. I, I am also a board member of a company called ChannelNet, a FinTech fo focused on customer engagement. And I'm also uh, a board member, of course, of IMTC and the Platinum Network. Sounds great. It's an honor for us to have such an experienced professional, especially with all your board experience and fragility and every amazing impact you have done into the industry. So I want to go back a little bit about you and Nugo when you first met. So you first met at IMTC and our CEO, Hugo Cuevas Moore, when you participated as a judge in the Ramtech Award. Tell us your experience. I'd love to. You know, I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, but really was pleasantly surprised at the diversity and the roster of companies, the innovators and fintechs uh, that IMTC attracted to these awards. Uh, with my experience uh, in the last year, we evaluated 32 companies and uh, various programs from around the world. Uh, I observed new companies and new products that were designed to meet the needs of very specific markets. Uh, and I, I got to see the creativity and I was impressed by that creativity of many of the programs uh, and products. It got to me, it got me thinking about all the startups that we hadn't seen yet, uh, because um, those, those companies maybe didn't submit entries. They didn't know about the Remtech Awards. And I can't wait to see what the next year's awards competition is gonna bring to the industry. Then I wanna talk a little bit about your benchmark study. So you've been putting together a benchmark study with the partnership with IMTC. The lack of relevant data is something that cross-border industries should be worried about. What is your perspective on that? You know, a group of us uh, last year started to lay out plans for a syndicated market research study that we felt that could be repeated every year or two. So there is an independent measure of consumer and business attitudes and behavior about cross-border money transfer. We still need to have more conversations about the design and content of the study with attendees of the IMTC World uh, 2021, and fr frankly, others in the industry, including involving participants, such as financial institutions, that's banks and credit unions. You know, the discussion of the benchmarking study evolved from a realization that data in the industry is rather limited and additional efforts needed to be launched. Uh, how, do you, how do various industry participants know if they're doing well or not? How do they know what the marketplace needs? Keep in mind that the market is evolving to a large extent due to the pandemic. Digital is becoming a force going forward. There are limited industry-wide studies uh, that are clearly unbiased. And I'm not saying the studies that are in the marketplace are biased, but you have to ask yourself who is funding each of those individual studies. It doesn't mean that every study is biased. It's just that, that so few studies are being released in the marketplace that are not vendor funded. So we think there might be an opportunity when there is an unbiased offering of a market research study, such as one that uh, IMTC might play a role in, uh, it, it would make just a ton of sense. Hopefully everybody sees it the same way. Sounds interesting. So as part of the new board of director, the partnership with Agility and the work that we're going to be doing together and the new rebranding to Prospect, what do you foresee of this interesting collaboration? So I do believe that partnerships represent 
uh, the future of cross-border um, money transfer. Partnerships take on many forms and we need to be cognizant of these. Um, and these could include things such as, you know, the data market research benchmarking studies that I just talked about, uh, sponsored by industry associations or organizations like the IMTC, comprised of unbiased third parties um, that are interested in participating or underwriting these kinds of studies. Secondly, banks and credit unions, among other organizations, will be the new product delivery channels to the customer, especially with the movement towards digital delivery. So I think partnerships to get to those credit unions and banks will be a big uh, uh, impact on the industry. I've come across interest from core solution providers, and those are the uh, software technology firms that um, provide uh, this kind of capability uh, in terms of offering cross-border uh, money transfer or alternatives or enhancements to correspondent banking and international wires. So I think there are opportunities there. I've seen companies focused on providing less expensive bill payment methods using partnerships. For example, with digital payment firms targeted to, let's say, accounting firms uh, and their small business clients. And then finally, we're seeing payment networks such as MasterCard and Visa and real-time payment providers such as the Clearinghouse in the United States creating new partnerships to expand their networks and, distrib and distribution capabilities for money transfer around the world. And last but not least, Ugo wants you and I to revamp um, RamTech and for 2022. So any top ideas that you have in mind? Uh, well, I think you're getting to know me by now. Um, I have a, a ton of those flowing over, bubbling up, but I'll give you a few of them. Last year was frankly my first year working on the Remtech Awards, and that experience just got my brain working. Um, what else can we do with this? How can it be improved? Here are a few um, kind of off the cuff ideas for the next generation Cross Tech Awards. One, um, financial institution and financial technology firm entries should be uh, encouraged. So it doesn't have to be just um, new uh, sources of money movement, but it could be organizations uh, such as individual banks or core solution providers, for example, that should be encouraged to play a role in this. Um, we could think about introducing a new awards category based on pre-revenue, pre-funded concepts. So here's an idea. Let's pitch the idea and allow for a pitch competition and maybe even add a few VCs to the um, judging mix to that evaluation team and made it maybe add some potential funding as a result of that capability. Um, we could introduce a cross-tech demo track, maybe 10 minutes per company and have it running throughout the conference. People could just pop in and hear a couple of presentations and pop out and go to another track. And, uh, and within IMTC uh, World 2022, enabling each of the competitors to cross-tech to pitch their product or program and have the attendees both live and maybe even virtually vote on their top choices in a few categories. Okay, that's enough for now. Uh, just to give you a little bit of flavor, I can assure you that there are more great ideas amongst everybody working um, with IMTC, and we'll, we look forward to next year's uh, competition. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I can hear innovation, collaboration, filter, and transformation. And this is amazing. And it's a pleasure to be here interviewing you today. And I'm looking forward to working with you in the Cross Tech Award 2022 and many more new projects that we'll be going to be working together on the board of directors for Cross Tech. Thank you. And thank you very much for having me.